Hey, welcome to CES 2021 here in beautiful Las Linus, British Columbia. Haha. <laughs> LG is sponsoring our coverage of their booth, and we have a treat for you today. Every year, we've seen incremental upgrades to their OLED TVs that have made them brighter and more color accurate with more features. But LG's never had a big enough jump to outright call it second gen until today. Meet the 77 inch G1 featuring their OLED Evo panel. LG is calling this the second generation of their OLED technology for the first time since they started shipping OLEDs to consumers in the mid 2010s. And the biggest jump in performance is that this generation is not just a little bit brighter. This is in large part due to the new luminous elements for blue light, which is the majority, and for red, which is kind of sprinkled in. This means second gen OLEDs can produce more precise colors in the first place, resulting in less brightness loss when that light passes through the next layer, which is the color filtering layer. They also added some green, similar to how they have a bit of red, but I'm not sure if we're allowed to say that or not. Let's have a, let's have a look at the stand, shall we? <clears throat> well, this is their G series. So there is no stand. Now you can get an optional gallery stand. It's kind of like a, it looks kind of like a light stand, but way classier. But this one is intended to either be mounted right against the wall, like we did with my G10 in my living room, or you can actually do a whole thing where you like cut out part of the wall and like embed it straight flat into the wall. So this is the new concept that replaces their old wallpaper TV. And honestly, I think this is probably the better way to go. It's like basically flat and you can do that in wall mount if you really want to. If the G in G1 means gallery, what exactly does the one mean? Okay, so naming scheme. We went from six to seven to eight to nine to 10, and then now we're back at one, which sounds like a stupendously confusing Xbox-like branding move, but actually makes a great deal of sense, at least for the next few years. It's the 2021 model year. As for the letters, well, we can't fault LG for consistency here. Just like before, the deeper into the alphabet you go, the higher end it is. So kind of like the opposite of your marks in school. So Z is the absolute top of the line. G is your next gen OLED panel with the fancy wall mount. C is your general consumer model with pretty much everything you need. And while B used to be the entry level bang for the buck skew, and it still looks like a great value, now there's an A series. A1s will be 60 Hertz rather than 120 Hertz, and they will use HDMI 2.0 rather than HDMI 2.1. Oh man, there's nothing quite like it, is there? Let's fire up our Xbox Series X. Can I stop pretending that this microphone is connected to anything? New for 2021 series OLEDs is LG's Alpha 9 Gen 4 processor. Some of these features will be familiar, but there's some new ones as well. So it's got AI upscaling, object enhancement, clearer text, that's for subtitles, auto genre selection, scene detection, and this is pretty cool, 5.2.1 channel up mixing, as well as auto volume leveling, which is supposed to make it less jarring when you switch between sources that are configured at different volumes. Like going from an ad on your set top box to Netflix or YouTube or something like that. To be clear, it's not intended to level out the dialogue and the action scenes in your movie or anything like that, but that does sound like a useful feature. It's also got picture optimization by game genre for gamers. So we're in standard mode right now, which just turns off any non-game enhancements and features. So that's applied to all game genres, but it also has an FPS mode, which improves low level brightness, RPG mode, which emphasizes contrast, and an RTS mode, which emphasizes clarity, as well as having mid to high level brightness. What is this, what is this character doing? No, you're done. No, you're done. You need to get, you're a menace. Stop it. Sorry, but what were we talking about? They've also got a new personalized home with like my viewing history based content and like your favorite sports teams and stuff like that. And the new Magic Remote design has NFC so you can quickly and easily pair it with, oh lordy, that was a good throw, thank you, with your phone. It actually does all kinds of cool stuff that of course we haven't tried yet because this is just CES coverage and this is not even a final product yet. So we're hoping to bring you the full coverage later on in the year once pricing and availability and all that stuff is out.